Hello and uh, thank you for having a look at our administration options in PHP Chess. This is going to be a bit of a whirlwind tour through the subject area and we hope you get out of it the first aspects of administering your own PHP Chess server. Um, it is uh, incredibly straightforward. You have a very forward looking um, user interface that basically gives you the latest news as well from our uh, PHP Chess website. But more importantly, uh, you can set up from here uh, everything um, from tournaments to creating newsletters, creating activities, managing the players, managing the games, looking at the games as well and seeing what the status of each of the games is that are being played currently. Um, it also allows you to do newscasting and additional other server management options and I'm going to run you very quickly through these now. Um, first part of this is the tournament setup. Um, it is very straightforward to set up a new tournament. Uh, you simply click on add tournaments in the top right hand corner. Um, you give your tournament a name. Um, you say what type of tournament it is. You say how many players you want to take part in this tournament uh, for your own information. You give it a description um, very quickly um, and you can give it a status in regards to whether or not it's planned, accepted, started, completed and finalized. Um, for us it's a, at the moment maybe a planned tournament. Uh, we're creating it. This is done on our um, example server so there are very few users on here. You can go in and straight create another one but for now we're just going to go back um, the new tournament is immediately visible here and we can add to it any games. Again, we're just clicking on the right hand side that gives us the game overview that is currently taking place in the tournament. You can at any point in time say uh, who is playing whom and uh, you can uh, also say what type of time mode you want. Uh, in our case we're choosing a blitz, how many moves should be uh, made that add for example additional time so a blitz game only lasts about 14 minutes so we can for example say that uh, after five moves uh, uh, another minute is added to the game and we can do this differently based on the uh, difficulty rating of the opponent but in our case we're just gonna do the same thing on both sides and off we go and create the game uh, we can simply then create another one the revenge match um, Maybe that's what we're terming a duel, but these could be as many games as you would like to add. Um, maybe the second game is just a short game rather than a blitz game with no extra time created. And uh, that sets up the games. If we're now going back to the tournament overview, we can now see uh, both games. We can see their status as incomplete. We can go and delete the game, add more games, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so from a tournament creation perspective, this is fairly straightforward. It is also fairly manual, admittedly. Uh, there is no such thing as an open tournament with subscriptions and people adding themselves to it. That That is likely to come in a later version. It's also possible from here directly to create newsletters. Um, so we can, for example, here give a, a test newsletter, um, a, 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 a possibility. Uh, we are using the, the, the standard text editing capabilities. So we can go in here and uh, select all, give the text a different color, um, maybe in line with uh, the, the um, uh, overall um, uh, makeup of the server. So whatever the server looks like, you can also go in here and say I would like a larger font for everything from some uh, for a logo. You can add um, additional elements in here in regards to for example pictures and so on. So it's it's uh, it's it's fairly straightforward uh, copy and paste and sending the newsletter will automatically send the newsletter to all the subscribers on the on your chess server. There's also an option that we're going to go in a little bit more later, which is called uh, the, the, the creation of activities. Um, this is an area where it is possible to create puzzles or lessons um, for, for the community. We can also say how much credits are required to have one of those, and you can set up for players a default credit. Uh, this is potentially an option for chargeable items in regards to credit but we didn't go too much into this um, because we're fundamentally believing that everything should be free but 
it's there um, and there will be another video release that shows exactly how to use this uh, activity system. Uh, the classic player management is here, of course, so I can manage current players very straightforwardly. I've got a basic list. Uh, I can add new players here. I can view any players at any point in time. And, uh, of course, I can I can also um, go and, and set the status for, for an individual player. Um, what is also of interest now is that we now have also have a game uh, overview mode, so I can uh, look at any point in time at the games. I can also see what the game position currently is in that game. I uh, just get a pop-up of the latest position, so I can very quickly ascertain whether or not this is the game that people are actually talking about. Every game has actually a unique identifier, so um, it should normally be not be an issue to find the right games. Um, we also have the possibility here um, to change the front displayed news when you land on the server page. Again, it's a standard editing method um, that we're not going to get too much into, but uh, fundamentally here uh, you can you can change whatever news you want to be displayed once a, uh, a player has logged in. But it's also possible. Uh, for you to to edit other aspects within uh, this. So, for example, uh, server messages, tips of the days, and uh, lately we've also added the ability to edit the FAQ that is being displayed. So I can easily uh, amend the standard terms that uh, PHP Chess publishes and, and ensure that the right thing comes out. Uh, this allows also for the adding of links and pictures and all the usual stuff that one might need. I hope um, that uh, this screen is not too bothersome for people, not too overwhelming. In here I can uh, uh, change, for example, the skin uh, that, that the server has and it is possible to develop your own skins, although it's a bit, a bit complicated, but it is possible. Um, you can always contact us on tips for that. Uh, there is also the ability to um, say, for example, whether or not you want automated user registrations to be approved or whether or not you want manual control over that process. Um, it is also possible here to change the language settings for the server to, to have a different language set up. There is a rating system uh, change option here. Game options can be changed in regards to what are the timeouts for the games chessboard default colors, whether or not you want to permit people to upload avatars, and you have even an archiving system if you've got a very busy server where you would like to get rid of uh, all the players that have for a long time not played, or uh, all the games, uh, and so on. That's that's all possible. Um, from here on, you can also manage the activities that I talked about earlier. So it might be worth a quick look in there to, to show you that the activity uh, um, can be fee-based, yes or no, and that's uh, for, for us an important aspect when it comes to to um, this type of setup, they're, they're, this point system can be taken forward, uh, and for example, achievement points of the players can be can be uh, uh, traded in for activities. Um, what you make of that point system, whether or not you ever develop it further, is entirely up to you. I hope this quick nine-minute overview of the PHP Chess server administration capabilities gives you an okay idea of what is possible. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just uh, contact us via phpchess.com. Thank you.